The Nicholson Center received a $4 million grant to study the effects that latency will have on the performance of robotic surgeons. And what we're looking at is what happens to a surgeon's performance when we give him different levels of delay between the movement of his hands and what he sees happens on the screen. I think it's fantastic. I think uh, simulators should be available in most hospitals really for physicians to keep their training up to date. The simulator is representing a surgery that might happen between Orlando and Tampa or between Orlando and Atlanta or Austin, Texas. They work on a piece of artificial tissue, they work on a, a couple of blocks or, or tackles or devices, and it looks to them and behaves for them just like it would in the operating room. And after we get their scores in that environment, then we insert some delay between the movement of their hands and what they see on the screen and we see what kind of scores they get with that delay inserted. It was a very interesting eye-opening experience because initially they would put us through a set of four exercises using standard uh, robotic technology and they were pretty straightforward exercises and then they would add a lag time and it might be just a few tenths of a second or maybe up to a full second. We want to know technically if we were to allowed to walk out of here today and set up a telesurgery operating room how far away would be safe, and at what point do we know that it starts to affect the surgeon's performance so much that it would no longer be safe? Even a few tenths of a second made a huge difference on the ability to perform the task. It was much more complicated, it took more time, it took more precise movements of the instruments, much more difficult to perform the second time. If you look at the telecommunication lines that are, exist right now between the eight campuses of Florida Hospital, they're all within a radius of 50 or 60 miles of each other. And we've invested a lot of money in really high-speed fiber optic cables within them. I believe those high-speed cables are delivering sufficient performance to do this surgery within those eight campuses right now. I think telesurgery will be the wave of the future and it's going to allow uh, this technology to go far beyond where we are and to help service people from all over the world, especially underdeveloped nations.